Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. So today I am trying to use up some of my coloured papers. I need to use up the card stock that I have, especially the ones that I'm not using very much. And so I have chosen three tonic die sets that I have and have tried to incorporate them with different colours and cards. So the first one I have is this Celtic Cross that I have cut out of pink and lilac using speciality cards as well and just put some Nouveau drops around the edge for that. So the last time I used this it was more kind of masculine. I think it was sort of browns and beiges, beiges and things but I, it's quite simple but I think it's very effective so I do like that one. This tonic dye is called Botanic Sw Spine Twine Botanic Twine. So I have cut this out of a sort of gold matte card and behind it I have used a green goldy coloured speciality paper from Tonic. I have simply put on a green and gold flower which I had been gifted and a little sentiment that says for my dearest friend. So that is the Botanic Twine die. It's a really good size actually. It fits perfectly on that card. And then the big thing was this set here. And um, again, I got this in a mystery bag. It is a Celebration Album Maker die set. There's 19 dies in it. There's absolutely loads of things that you can do. And so... Again, I'm trying to use up all these colours that I've got. So this is a silver matte, silver with the lilac and the pink. And everything here, other than the flower, is in the set. Everything that I've used. So what they say is that either you can make two boxes, like on the front here, and join them together as if they are one card. Or you could just have it as a box like that. So for this one, what I thought I would do is if I have a five by seven blank, I will stick this onto a five by seven card blank. And then it means that I can write it just like a card and it will stand up like a card as well. So it it looked horrendously complicated, but it actually wasn't too bad if you just think it out. And there's lots of ideas here. Just that easel card is really lovely as well. So, um, yeah, I'm quite surprised by this. Uh, I really like it. It's not too complicated, um, but it's quite a sort of traditional style, I would say, rather than a contemporary style. So these are the cards that I have made with using up my stash and I hope you like them. Please feel free to comment and like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye for now.